You're watching Five, the news specialists. Good afternoon, I'm Keith McCord. The voice. More good news today. The presence. Keith McCord was simply meant to be a television news anchor. Watching Walter Cronkite and all those guys, my parents were avid news viewers and, you know, always reading the newspaper, and so I was always kind of there and doing it too. Keith started as a radio DJ in Loveland, Colorado. His first television news job was at KYCU in Cheyenne in 1978. So I heard Keith doing radio news in Loveland, Colorado, and my first reaction was, what a voice. Then it was, please, please be a good-looking man who wants to work for nothing in the 265th market. When we met, I was so relieved. You looked at sort of actor good looks, you wore a suit and a tie, and I told you you could be the next anchor man in the 265th largest market if we agreed to terms. Well, the only term was that you would work for $800 a month. And thankfully, you agreed. At 5.30 with Keith McCord. Good evening. In the news this hour, Google... Then Keith went on to KRDO in Colorado Springs in 1979 and came to KSL TV News in 1981. This is the number one eyewitness news at 10 with Keith McCord. Through the 39 years, Keith has covered it all at KSL. Space shuttle astronaut Kathy Sullivan became the first American woman today to walk in space. And gotten himself covered a time or two as well. It takes over 7,000 gallons of water to get the proper consistency and the proper depth. About two feet will do it. No matter the news, Keith McCord loves being a journalist. Okay, one, two. And it shows. There you go. I've had this mustache since about 1975. I originally grew it so I'd look older. Now I'm afraid to shave it. Keith first anchored weekend news with Don Olson. I have fond memories of working with you back in the day. You are, without doubt, uh, one of the finest that this market has ever seen. And then there were the women, starting with yours truly. Good evening, I'm Carol Makita. And I'm Keith McCord. I've had 13 co-anchor wives, as we call them, right? Thanks, Brad. And they've all been great. I've had a ball working with them. Good afternoon, I'm Holly McCullough. And I'm Keith McCord. Good evening, I'm Jane Clayson. You're an amazing storyteller. You were an incredible colleague and teacher in many ways to me. And most importantly, a wonderful friend. I am proud to be among a remarkable group of women who have all co-anchored the news with Keith. We jokingly think of ourselves as Keith's work wives because he has a knack for making each of us feel very special to him. I mean, does anyone dress better than Keith McCord? No, if I wore this ridiculous orange dress, he would still have a hanky and a tie to match and make us look like a news couple. That man has a tie and a pocket square to match every single color you can think of. It is impressive. You know how you remember the outfit you wore on the first day of school because it's that big of a day? Well, I remember the outfit I wore the first time I anchored the news with Keith McCord because it was that big of a deal. I just remember the first time that I ever anchored next to Keith McCord on this on this set that I'm sitting at here. I was nervous and I was so excited and I, I literally had to pinch myself when I sat down next to him because he has been somebody I looked up to my entire career. You have a comforting and sincere way on the anchor desk and you are just as genuine with the many, many colleagues you've had over the years. I count myself lucky to have been one of them. Right before the show, no one knows this, but Keith will give you a little fist pound and like that was the coolest. You were so kind and gracious and you bought a pillow to sit on at the anchor desk next to me so I wouldn't look so tall and so big on camera. You've been more than just a colleague. You've been a very good friend. You've been with me through the birth of my children and the death of my husband. And I just love you so much. And I'll see you in retirement. We won't see you on TV, but I'll see you. It has been one of the greatest honors of my life to be able to work that closely with Keith and learn so much from him. I wish that he would stay a little longer. It's going to be really, really hard to sit at that desk without him next to me. Good evening, everybody. It's happened again. A this man Texas has today, a credibility, man and he brings a, a feeling rampage. of comfort. Five people dead. That even if it's bad news, he will walk you victim. through it. Well, there may be as many as 250 cars still under there. He has always tried, he says, to be a trusted voice. He would never report anything but the truth. You know, you just, I've always tried to play it down the middle as best I can. But I'll hear people say, all you people do is lie to us. I'm thinking, I don't, 
I don't think I've ever lied to anybody on TV. I didn't get on when the news theme rolled and I'm on the set. Good evening. I'm about to lie to you right now. I don't think I've ever done that. But if we at KSL TV News were to take a vote about who is the kindest among us, the answer would always be Keith McCord. And that's a look at the news for tonight. I'm Keith McCord. Thank you for watching. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News. Keith McCord, congratulations on a beautiful career. How fortunate we all are that you came to work at KSL TV News, lo those decades ago. I am ever grateful for your wisdom on story ideas, scripts, and newscasts. Some of my favorite memories are working together on the weekends. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Friends forever. Love ya.